to part seven. We're about to add one more element. So what I'm about to do is take Linner off, Pirate off. And what I'm going to do, it's actually one of my favorites I like to do a lot. Ebony and Gold, Inferno. And we'll add Celtic with this one. Get some very unique designs. I'm going to use the dice prompt again. We're going to do a random one. I ain't going to scroll right down. You got to see part six of the video to understand why with this image right here. <laughs> Let me see what this one. So this is what I'm about to do for this prompt. I'm going to kill off all of this right here. We don't need it. You know what? Let's do a new one. Change it up. I don't need oil painting for this. Let's take this out. I don't need this as well either. Actually, I need to keep it in the image, but I don't need the meticulously detailed with exquisite brush. We don't need that. Take off. Kill all that off. We don't need all that. We don't need all that. This is the prompt. But you can have fun with it. I'm going to keep this right here. So let me change out the ebony and gold. And let me go with ivory and gold. Another Laura I like using. Since we got the paralytic white exterior, why not? So this is what I'm about to do. Celtic Punk, I'm put this at the weight of negative 30. Inferno, put this at the weight of negative 60. And the Ivory Gold, put this at the weight of negative 10. So I'm going to generate four images with this one. And I'm not going to change it up just yet. So remember, we doing, we're still keeping photography. Use the RPG 5 version 5 for the fine tune model. And we'll keep it with this. The reason why I'm using this right here, because if I happen to use Fission Diffusion or XCL, whatnot, or even Base, it's not going to have these elements. These elements, it's not going to work with those. That's the reason why I'm not using the diffu um, Diffusion XL, Fission XL, Base XL, SDXL.9.1, I mean, 0 0.9. That's the reason why I'm not using those, because they're not going to have these elements. They're going to have the other elements of Tune, Coloring Book, and something else. So I'm like, yeah, we're not about to use that. This is what happens we use three different weights. I mean, three different elements, different weight numbers. And these are the images that you kind of get up with the prompt, as we talked about in Part 5. But you get the aesthetics of 
the ivory and gold. A little bit Inferno with inside and a little bit the Celticness of the elements. I could see some type of ship doing a wavelength like that in the upstream boat future. So let's play around with this prop a little bit more. Let's let's do this. Let's take all of this out of here. And let's do it like that. This is the original one. This is the one we changed up. So let's put the weight towards 70, positive 70, positive 90, and positive 130. Let's see what we get. And also, the higher or stronger the weight for your elements, the more that most of these other elements is going to show up. So Celtic Punk, you guys will see more of. Ivory and Gold, you're going to see more of. You may see a little bit of the Inferno. So the weight will actually play around with your prompt and your picture as well. When you're doing different things and everything. And after this video, I got to do these two online radio shows that um, needs to be knocked out before 9 o'clock. This is what I mean by getting very funky images, but let's go with this one here. We did say within our prompt. The main subject portrayed the pixel sleek and elegant celestial landscape. So, welcome to it. But we could also have a little fun as well too. So we go high smoothies and see what we get. So remember the original images because you already know that the refiner, the AI, will literally change it up and give us something very much more unique. And I'm using Leonardo AI for those that's watching this video. It should, you know, you should see that inside the, the description. So now somebody go ask, well, can this be applied to Mid Journey? Depending on how Mid Journey settings are. Now I had not used Mid Journey, so I'm not one hundred percent sure. But there are other YouTubers. Well, I use Mid Journey until they change part of their terms and conditions up a little bit. And I might use them. So, since we have our weird looking celestial landscape, this is what the high refiner did to it. So, the original looked like this chaotic, full of void and craziness. The refiner made it much more gentle, quiet, and has a very aesthetic element. Now, you can see the ivory and gold in here very much so. You can see the Celticness as well too around with this area and everything else like that nature. With the Inferno, it's a little bit bland with it with the lights. So you have to really pay attention to the details. That is one badass, interesting interpretation of this. And that's because the original is like this. But the AI depict this, because this is like an actual person looking at something chaotic and crazy. But the AI depicted to look like this. Now that's dope. Now this is even dope. I would say this looks more like um the Thor movies. When they're on that um, bridge thing, I forgot what it's called. Because the original is this. Extremely chaotic. Look more bio 
luministic than anything else. High smooth refiner. You probably got low key and Thor in them about to go to Asgard. There we go. And they traveling that bridge thing in that door going bananas. I'm just saying. For this image, this was the original. Chaotic, crazy, and it's a whole lot going on. The refiner gave it to where this is more like an adventure, like Dungeons and Dragons, or or even off even a car for Magic the Gathering. <laughs> if I make these public, somebody might actually do use this in Magic the Gathering. If you play Magic the Gathering and you have to use this image, please tag me in it and put Chinchilla Q as the original artist. <laughs> And that you got off of Leonardo AI while watching part seven of this video. And let me be cautious of scrolling down because part six, we have to see the reason why. Um, so let's play around with this. So let's say, and we're going to have fun with this. Let's add a fourth element to it. Let's add a fourth element to it. Let's do, someone's going to tell me to do glasses still, but I'm going to do crystal eye with it. And actually, I'm going to change out these. We're going to do the tiki. With the ebony, and let's add some Christmassy to it. <laughs> we're going we're gonna to make it look real fun. I'm going to keep the same. Now, nah, let's switch it to prompt. Let's switch it up. Again. In a dimly lit alleyway a huntily mysterious figure emerged from the shadows a spooky vintage chic croconut what <laughs> what the heck is this um okay cinematic neo neor all right i'm liking this i'm liking what i'm seeing on here it's gonna be interesting so let's say Let's say you want to keep the weight that it is. We'll keep the weight at one. We'll change this up to creative. Let's go say, okay, we're changing to creative, and guess what? I'm not doing 2.3. We're going to, let's have, that's right, that's a pop up, you only pop up one image with this because it's one large ass image. Actually, we're going to play around with the 2.39 by one. We're going to do it for the one. We're going to keep everything the same right here for the alchemy part of it. I'm going to keep it, all of this. I'm not changing none of, none of this. I'll do another video later on. We'll play around with everything from the prompt strength to the contrast. That's going to be a very larger video, so stay tuned for that coming up pretty soon. Only reason why I'm doing longer videos like this is because I want to show you guys step by step what all of this actually does when you're playing around with your images. So... You can experiment on your own, but go have fun. So let's go ahead and do with the new aspect ratio. I'm gonna hit generate because it's gonna be one big image. But I'm gonna put this right back in 16.9. Keep it at four images. Same thing, keep the same weight and hit it. Keep it on creative. Ooh, excuse me, sorry about that, y'all. Sorry about that. So go wait for these five images to come up, and then we're going to have fun where I'm change it up all the weights. And you can see which weight would give much more proudness towards the image. I need to make some tea after this. <laughs> Voice started to hurt through all this talking for these videos, but it's for a reason. Ooh, very interesting. So that prompt that we had, this is it right here. This is the original image. Whole lot of chaos, but somebody might like this because you get different interpretations, but this is everything with it. This is the elements that we have, which is chrysolite, ebony and gold, gingerbread, and tiki. So if you look at this, you can see more of the elements of the chrysolite, of the tiki, a little bit of the ebony and gold because it's blended with it, and small hints a little bit of the gingerbread. I don't know where. Now, 
you already know we're about to have fun with the refiner. So a high, smooth refiner, hit it, exit out, and we'll come back to this image in a few minutes. Yeah, this is the prompt, or a uh, crow or not is, and these are the images. You can see the evidence of the tiki inside, along with the chrysolite because of the green. Ivory and gold, because, not ivory, but ebony and gold, because you got a little bit of blend of it, and a little bit of the gingerbread because of the brown. Like, you really got to pay attention to the details of it. Now, if I high smooth all of these, and these are at a weight of positive one, you're going to see a major difference within the pictures. This is why I'm high smooth and everything because it's going to get much more details. And we're in it. All right. This is high smooth. I mean, it made the image hell out much more smaller than what it is, but this is the elements that we have used for all four. Gingerbread and everything else, and it makes this be such a different picture. I don't know why it doesn't do that, where it just makes it real small. We try to zoom in. But if we go to the other ones, yeah, they did the same thing as well, too. Made it smooth, made it small. But you guys get what I'm saying, though. You get a little bit of the gingerbreadness and everything else. The Celtic. I mean, the Tiki. And the Chrysolite, Ebony and Go. Like, yeah. Different aesthetics with it. Same thing with this. Like, a very interesting prompt as well, too. I'll make these public. You guys can uh, find them and download them and most definitely see a bigger image of it. Now, let's say you want to play around with this and make it to an anime. We change the weight and keep the weight of that at zero, make it that to 40. I'm just clicking on things to see what aesthetics we get. So, Tiki's going to come out more in Gingerbread. And then the Ebony Go Crystal Light will come out as well. RPG 5, Anime, keep it everything in 16.9. This is what happens we use four elements and play around with the weights of them. But also keep it in negative prompts. Shout out to the Black Friday deals because um, most definitely was able to get one of the older iPads for 2019 on sale. This is still for the anime part of it. Like I said, the Tiki comes out more and you can tell Spider elements within the picture. It's a little bit of weight of the crystal eye and everything, but the tiki's popping out more. This is dope. Like I said before, gingerbread and tiki, you can see that more. Ivory and gold, you can see the elements in it as well, too. Crystallize, not as much. Because not a higher weight of it. But, before we end this video, you guys already know exactly what I'm about to do. Let's go high smooth on them all. And 
and we'll see what other image we get. Oh, you can pause the video at any time and take a look at this screenshot and try this prop out yourself. Because it comes from Leonardo off of their randomizer that they have. So where we see the dice, that's a randomizer for a prompt if we need ideas. So uh, these are high smoothing. Like, see what I mean? More ticky elements went in it. That's my puppy. She tried to get comfortable. Change him up completely. Details went in the clothing. Even with it looking on anime, it gives somebody an idea as to a different type of scene that they want to do. You know what, ladies and gents? Let me see something. Let me make sure my Discord is up. If I'm not mistaken, the guy named is Tom, who had created yes, There you go. Follow this guy right here, man. He got some dope videos that he does. He did a video on this. Where um using Pika Labs and actually showing a different um parameters for mid journey. Like I said, I don't use mid journey, but I don't mind watching other YouTubers and actually learning from because there's some dope pictures that's on mid journey. Knuckle front. I like using Leonardo more. But there is some dope stuff that people be using. Okay, cool. So we on Pika Lab. So I'm in my private. Okay, cool. We on here. Y'all can't use this right here. <laughs> Sorry. So what I'm about to do is I'm about to download this image this will be this one right here will be actually interesting this one this is actually pretty dope tiki fives with the gingerbread and everything i want to download this one i'm going to download this one so you guys are about to get blessed I'm going to show you how to use Pika Labs in regards to creating videos with the AI generated art. This is actually one of my pictures for a scene that I'm working on for my screenplays. Of course, got the Pika Labs tag um, on here, but you know what? I'm not sure what about it. And matter of fact, it's runway on here. Yes, it is. And I'm gonna show you guys how to use Runway ML for my page. So, matter of fact, let me put these up over here. And I'm working on a project. So I have this right here. Okay, so let me go ahead. And for Pika, the way you use it is on Discord. You use a forward slash, and it comes up with create, which you use the prompt, encrypt the image, which you can um, have a picture in the background and have a word pop up inside of the image and everything. Crypt text. I like using the backslash anime. animate because what I'm about to do is grab what we have download. So, damn, it did get the wrong pictures. Actually, you know what? Yeah, it did. I need to go right back. Except for this one. This is why I'll keep it like this. We'll go with this one. But before we do that, what I should have done was this. Click on this 
and download the refiner part. So make sure wherever you download your images that you see that it says refiner, or if you have it like the crispy, it would show like this. So we forgot to download the refiner. So I'm gonna go ahead and download that one. And we said we'll go with this one. Well, I did someone do this one as well too. So let me click on this one. Download the refiner because the image that I did, I don't want to get. I just want to do this one because I know I have a funny feeling these will be moving anyway. So you can grab those. And no, nah, let's go back with the one. So let's go to this one too. And this one. But go right back into the to the Discord. I'm gonna keep it with this. I'm gonna hit on this right here. Because what I'm about to do. Actually exit out of that. I don't need to do the biker one. Keep scrolling. Keep scrolling. Here we go. Grab this right here. But I'm about to grab this. I'm grabbing all of this right here. Hit cancel. Put the image prompt on here plus one more. Actually on this side. There we go. Prompt comes up. Scroll this down. So what I'm about to do is going back to Leonardo and I'm about to copy all of this. Copy and I'm about to paste it in here. Because it's part of the picture. Now, the main important part is what I'm about to highlight, which is this. And actually, I need to put um, camera, camera pan right. If you guys want to see a video, how I'm going to actually do the videos for this thing, I will make it one for you. So, we're using the image that we're using from Leonardo. I generated. My guidance scale, I keep it at seven. My motion, I keep it at two. MLS, I forgot what that stands for. My frames per second, I keep it at 16. I might use 24 sometimes. The cameras, depending. I can pan right, I could do this, I could do that. Now, let's go to runway ML. And I'm about to use their Gen 2. Where is it at? Here we go, Gen 2. So I'm going to start with the image. Dang, we ran out of credits like that? Seriously? I know a good well way to use all that up on the cell phone. Well, the hell, we're about to do something right now. So we on Gen 2. So I'm going to do image plus a description on here. This is runway ML. So what I'm going to do. And these are other ones that I generated. So the same movie one you've seen, I did this a couple days ago. So what I'm going to do is upload. Should do this one. That picture actually goes hard though. Matter of fact, we'll change it up. The other one, we get that one. This one. Actually, you know what? Nah. Let's go with the alternative one, which is this. This is going to be the frame for it. So what I'm going to do for this is I'm going to copy the prompt, put it inside a runway, and it literally, like it caps it at 320. So I'm going to take this out. And with runway, this is how you can have more fun. So on here, I'm going to keep the upscale, remove the watermark because I'm doing a pay subscription with them. Pika Labs is free. Runway does have a little free thing, but you're limited in regards with this right here, the seconds. So with runway, I like to use my general motion of two. The camera. I like to keep the speed on two. There's a reason for it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have it go horizontal. So I'm at the camera pan towards the right. Be actually, I'm going to have it pan towards the left on this one. I'm not going to have it go up and go down. 
Now grab a pan up or pan, this is pan up, pan down. Camera zoom in, camera zoom out. Camera um, counterclockwise rotate or clockwise rotate. Camera pan left, camera pan right. So go ahead and pan left on this one. I'm going to hit, actually I'm going to hit free preview. Oh, that's right, I forgot. When you don't have an image in here, you can hit free preview. Matter of fact, Okay, this is what we're going to do. I'm going to take out the picture from here. I'm going to keep it on the text. I'm going to hit free preview. Free preview does this. On the runway, you get a preview of everything on here. So we'll go about that four different type of ideas I'm going to do for the video. Go at the Pika Labs. We got everything in here, so I got my negative in here as well, too. I am going to hit enter. It's in the command on, on uh, Discord, and it's generated the video. Go back to Runway ML, and these are the four images. That's actually pretty good, not bad. Let me get. So I'm about to generate this one. Oh, it changed up. That's dope. It got it right here at the top part. And it's generated. And I got 26 seconds left. Okay, cool. But what I'm about to actually do, though, I'm going to keep the same thing we had earlier. So we're going to use this. And I'm going to generate it with the picture from Leonardo. It's already used in the seconds, but I can care less. This is going to be a test video. So I got two videos going. I got the ones from the preview that I'm working on right here. We're using this one. But I also got, that's the one from use of the prompt. And this is runway, the AI tools created something. But I'm also doing a picture from Leonardo to see what we're going to get. Because we we'll go right back to Pika Labs. This is the video that we have. See what I mean? Change the aesthetics. Their AI has the pictures come to life. This is why with the AI artwork with folks, other artists that says, oh, we're gonna lose our jobs or AI art is not art. Yeah. Say that to the pictures you generate. And you create a videos like this and create your own different type of aesthetics. This is why Hollywood also was on that strike because they thought that us who are working with AI was going to take the jobs. Like, no, you guys need to actually get with the times, get creative. Now, this is the generated image that we did with a runway. This is what they have on here. And it's a height. And I'm going to extend it. No. If I want to extend anything, I actually want to generate one, generate this, and generate this. And look at that, my seconds left. Yeah, shouldn't have done that, but it's part of the video. Now, this is what the picture from Leonardo that we did. Let's press play on, bleh, let's press play on it. Let's press play on the white as a tongue to twister. <laughs> okay, it gave the warping effect on here. But it's this runway ML. Yeah, it, had, it literally worked it. Uh, the results on here, because let me see, human anatomy warping. Render, all oh, this not bad. Well, let's say composition, but it's more of the warping type thing. With this, because it's part of them, I'm like, eh. So I'm not going to even press anything in regards with that. Now, in regards with these, so let's see what we get. Back to Discord. I'm going to do another anime image. Grab. We're going to go with this one. 
going to hit this on the side because that's a long type art with this prompt. Now, you can do the same thing and use the same prompt, and I'm about to use the same prompt that we have on there. Copy, cancel, paste inside the prompt thing, hit enter, bam, wait for the video, backslash, anime, hit, let's go with, let's go with this one on here. You guys can see the difference between runway and Pika Labs. Text prompt, hit it, bam, let's do another one, forward slash, anime, bam, hit with this. Where's the other one at? This one. Hit open. Psh. Pop up with that prompt. Bam. Let's go with it. Forward slash. Anime. Bam. Hit the final picture. Hit it with this. Open. Bam. Slap with the prompt. Booyah. Pop. Well, that right there is happening. Let's go back with Runway ML. So, this is the other video aesthetic that we got. I like this one. I'm going to just say warping because of the face in the background. Let's see with this one. Keep it on the four, warping, and lack of movement. This one, same thing. Lack of movement, warping, booyah. So what I'm going to do for this one, I'm going to extend this video. Might lose some second out on some seconds, but who cares? Let's extend it. Hit it. Say I got six seconds left. I'm cool with that. Let's go back with Pika Labs. So. That's the other video. Here's the other picture we have on here. Change his face completely to do something crazy. I don't need to put new notes. Exile for this. Well, here's another thing you can do. We'll watch the videos first and then we'll come back to it. And as you can see, he moving like the dude from like on um, who framed Roger Rabbit. <laughs> so you got that on this part. I'll uh, say Mary Poppins or the umbrella disappearing. Told you guys some little things right there is going to move. <laughs> so, this is how you can have fun using Pika Labs and everything. This is the re-roll button. Shuffle because you can shuffle the same thing and do the same picture if you want to resubmit it. Or re-roll it. So, I'm going to hit the re-roll for this one. Re-roll for this one. Re-roll for this one. And re-roll for this one. But you guys gonna see a difference as to what's going on. Back to runway. This is the other video, which is extended. Let's hit play on it. And as you see, it does a whole lot more. I'm gonna do another extension for it. I got two seconds left, but I'm doing this for y'all. And this is a longer video. I already have a feeling. But this is a fun one because to show you guys how you can have fun with doing just from these images that we had generated. To which, you know what? I'm sorry, ladies and gents. I'm keeping these to be private. <laughs> Only because we're doing the video part of this so back on Pika we got our four that we had re-roll and everything
So this is the other video we did, right? The first one. This is the reroll, not the second part. Wow. Look what happened with this one. A dude magically appear out of thin air. He a time traveler come from the machine. <laughs> and let's see what happened with the Mary Poppins one. Disappearing into a ninja or an assassin with the umbrella and everybody disappearing. Let's go with this one right here. Our character turned to a rock star. This would actually go hard for one, like a little rock star type video in the sense as well too. And then for the final one, he actually kind of keep his face. He's kind of morphing into something though, low key. So, we got very unique stuff. Let me see. Is this one that extended? Yeah. It didn't extend to nine seconds. Well, actually, it should have extended it well. Should have done more to it. It is what it is. Other than that, though, y'all, that's how you have fun with Runway, Pika Labs. There's another one I want to try out, which is Gemmo and Moon Valley. But afar for that, if you guys have enjoyed the video for today, leave a like, comment, subscribe, and I catch you guys in part eight. All right, y'all, have a great one. Catch you guys next time. Peace out.